am Dr. Erika Bansal. I am a qualified dermatologist, but now I am practicing as an exclusive hair transplant surgeon. I am the founder and director of Eugenics Hair Sciences. So talking about the latest advancements in hair transplant, there is a lot of research and innovation going on in newer medical therapies, newer injections, stem cell research is going on. Uh, people are trying to clone the hair follicles. So a lot of research is being uh, uh, put into the fact that if we should be able to regenerate hair without a transplant and from very few donor follicles. So that is one part of the research aspect. There is a lot of innovation going on, the small, small improvements in the instrumentation. So many doctors have found that they can do extraction using vacuum assisted devices also. There is a robotic device also which is also undergoing upgradation where they will be able to do an automated extraction and implantation of the graft without human involvement so that robotic advancement is also happening. The research is underway. Till now we are yet to achieve close to human perfection but yes the research is underway, the developments are happening. So we feel that maybe two to three decades down the line we may have some breakthrough in treatment of male pattern baldness and we may be able to address this problem of baldness from its root. So the opportunity in the hair transplant industry is huge because as we can see almost 50 to 60 percent of men are suffering from male pattern baldness at some point in their life. These days they are developing baldness even at younger age so as soon as they turn 20, 25 they are landing into the bald scenario. So the opportunity is huge because in every city, even in every village, we have people facing this problem. And now since they know there is a fix to it, so that's why hair transplant has a huge scope. The challenges. The challenges is acquiring the expertise of the surgical technique. That is, I would say, the most important part. Why? Because every human body is different. Everybody's skin is different. So some people uh, may have a very thick skin some people may have soft skin so there is a lot of skill required to operate in all patients and the other point is producing dramatic coverage full coverage in patients with extreme case of baldness so most of the bald people who are seeking treatment they have large grades of baldness that is they are fully bald from front to the back so it's very difficult to achieve full coverage in those cases so yes, there is a lot of expertise that needs to be developed. Number two, the problem is it's a monotonous surgery. So even for a good surgeon, it can become physically very tiring to do the surgery for many patients and that too on a very frequent basis. So that's why it is very important for a hair transplant surgeon to be physically fit. We have to exercise well so that we don't develop any problem in our neck and spine because the work hours are long duration. We also have to invest in instrumentation, uh, magnification devices and illumination devices. Get the best whatever is available in the world. Why? Because that will help us in reducing our tiring time. And it also works for technicians. So people who are working with us and helping us in, in the surgery, they should also be equipped with the best medical instrumentation and technology so that they themselves don't get tired and their productivity is highest and with least amount of physical effort they are able to deliver the best. So medical tourism can be boosted by hair transplant. Why? Because this being a very very one time surgery which provides lifetime results, people do tend to choose a qualified surgeon experience center with a well equipped infrastructure because it's a one time surgery, it's their one shot and they feel safe to travel across the globe just for one surgery. So that way if we can provide the state of the art medical facilities, infrastructure and the state of art results, then yes, uh, we can provide a very big boost to the medical tourism of the country. And we have been seeing the magic in last few years. Why? Because it's a word of mouth spread. Uh, people who have never uh, visited India and who were never intending to visit India, they are choosing to come to India. Why? Because they are now convinced of good results being delivered by the hair transplant clinics here. And those who have been denied by the renowned clinics and surgeons across the world, they are choosing to come to us. The USP of our brand eugenics would be, I would say, in one word summary, passionate. So we are passionate about hair transplant surgery and more passionate about the results, the end results which the patient get. We focus on that. That's our primary objective. 
इट्स अ वन टाइम सर्जरी अनलाइक अदर कॉस्मेटिक सर्जरी द रिजल्ट ऑफ हेयर ट्रांसप्लांट सर्जरी कैन लास्ट फॉर अ लाइफ टाइम एंड इफ इट इज नॉट डन करेक्टली इन फर्स्ट गो द डोनर गेट्स डिप्लीटेड द रिजल्ट आर सब ऑप्टिमल एंड पेशेंट इज अनहैप्पी थ्रू आउट द लाइफ सो बिकॉज इट्स अ वन टाइम शॉर्ट एट हिज चांस टू क्योर हिज बॉलनेस वी पुट इन आर एफर्ट्स focusing on the results so we are very passionate about achieving the best results that is why we invest a lot in our technology instrument upgradation and knowledge upgradation so medically we keep on advancing ourselves even if the advancement is very small we make sure that we get it into india whether we have to procure that instrument from the us or europe or uk wherever in the world but we try and bring it to india and see if it does make our results better the second thing is making a passionate effort towards educating the patients not all people seeking the treatment are eligible for hair transplant so we have to identify those patients who will get wow kind of transformation with the surgery and at the same time we have to educate those patients who are not eligible for transplant these days young boys even 16 17 they are coming and seeking treatment so it is dangerous for them to undergo transplant in an early stage or i would say a diffuse thinning stage those stages can be well treated medically also so it's not that for a just for grabbing a surgery will do a patient who is not an eligible candidate so a lot of counseling education and a ethical transparent approach is adopted towards patient education our future plans are to invest more into some stem cell research though the dream looks far fetched but yes we will like to achieve a breakthrough if possible in coming few decades when it comes to the stem cell research Uh, the other dream is to have a new instrument a new gadget or something of that sort which can improve that uh, surgical outcome whether it comes to reducing the pain or improving the extraction reducing the transaction rates and improving the implantation technique so we are uh, working on all the spheres so the future plan is to upgrade the technique and yes we are looking for an international location also because of the international awareness awareness people are seeking treatment uh, uh, across the globe so we are thinking of some international centers like dubai which is easily reachable from all across the globe